racist. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying, sir? I know, I know. I know. Yes. I'm the guy from that viral video that went out a few weeks ago. We are all entitled to opinions. But some opinions, it's better to be left at home. Locked up in a closet. My name is Dave Parkesh. I'm the owner of Lick the Cream, located at Block 218 Badok North Street 1, uh, Unit 0109. So we sell artisanal gelatos, waffles, and a Filipino bread. So we serve gelatos that we make in-house. And the inspiration behind that was being able to create something that reminded me of my heritage. So my dad's Indian and my mom's Filipino. So that being said, we, I took a couple of months off just to create a special gelato that Filipinos love because of COVID. So a lot of these Filipinos have not gone back and I wanted to pay tribute to them. So I want to be able to serve something that reminds them of home. I can safely say that I'm probably the only person serving pandasal with gelato. Uh, pandasal is the Spanish bread roll. It's the size of my palm. So we come up with the most special one in the shop will definitely be obey. For those of you who don't know, those in, living in the Philippines, they love obey. It's a thing they've been eating since the day they were born till the very last day. It is something so simple. Something unique about it is the colour. It's a, it has a natural purple tint to the actual fruit or vegetable. So we take the actual taro, purple yam, we chop it up, blend it up, put a bit of sugar, a bit of starch, give it the thickness and uh, the sugar helps to break down and instead enhances the natural flavour of the ube. So we take that, we mix with the logic behind making gelato, we combine it and bang, you get ube gelato. Well, we like to do a bit of trial here and there. Um, the other one that we really love is mango gelato. So we get the mangoes shipped from Philippines, but it's very, very sweet. So we take that and then we make it into gelato so we don't do sorbet. I want to pay tribute, number one. And number two, bring flavours from abroad that local Singaporeans have not tried. So I felt like, you know, let me create this ube and hopefully people in Singapore will like it. One thing to take note is, ube itself is a very earthy flavour, you know. So when you take something too earthy and try to make it a bit sweet, some people might not like it. So in the first, I would say, first three weeks, we had to take a bit of feedback and then we had to do a bit more R&D to come up with the best product that I'm proud to serve to customers. So I'm serving at the back, as in serving at the counter. So a customer come in and ask me, oh, what is ube? So I had to give him the background of, you know, what is ube and I grew up eating this. So he asked me, oh, you grew up? Sure or not? Like, people in Singapore don't grow up with this. So I had to be like, oh no, sir, what I meant was, like, whenever it's vacation time or holidays, I'd go back visit my mom and her family in the Philippines. So, maybe because I spoke like a Singaporean, so maybe. So that's why, like, small things like that, I just, uh, just let it go by. Something really heartwarming would be Ever since the incident that went viral, many people from all walks of life have sympathised and felt that they have been through, maybe not a similar experience, but they've, they've been through an incident where they were either racially abused or they felt some things weren't right. So many of them tried to reach out by calling the company's number, you know. And in fact, some of the really nice things were people are sending flowers. We had customer, so he came all the way from Woodlands gave us a bouquet of flowers and shared his experience. He felt like that video hit him hard, you know. No doubt he's a Singaporean, but his wife, uh, his wife came from Thailand. So even he knew the difficulties of uh, interracial marriage. I think after this whole saga, this whole ordeal, uh, I can proudly say that Singaporeans as a whole, or people living in Singapore, we are for togetherness and most of us are against racism you know for the people who still have that stigma that oh you know like we shouldn't intermarry as if we shouldn't marry out of our own race 
for those guys, I just feel like, you know, fine. Your opinion is opinion, you know. It's a bit hard for a person like me to change your opinion. Because we all, we are all entitled to opinions. But some opinions, it's better to be left at home. <laughs> Locked up in a closet. <laughs> and to the people who have been supporting me, I just have to, from the bottom of my heart, I really want to humbly thank all of y'all. Because I know it's not easy, you know. It's not easy starting a business, especially during COVID, period. So the amount of love and support, not only myself, my girlfriend and my family and her family have been getting, is something that we never dreamed of or we, we never thought of it ever happening. So the people who have been supporting us, we really, really humbly thank you. And the people who have been supporting me and my business, I also want to thank you guys so much.